I print a lot of my calibration cubes to help me dial in 3D printers, including big ones like the one back here. Then I can take a caliper and I can measure dimensions and see how far off everything is. And when you have that 3D print that you need a perfect fit and finish, there's actually a setting in CureUp that you can adjust and get the perfect dimensions. I'll show you what that setting is and we've got a new Filament Friday toolkit which is bigger than the old one and a lot better. I'll show you all of this on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by these Patreon supporters. In a previous video I made this clamp adapter which allowed me to take two clamps and make one bigger. But occasionally it would split along the layer line so I printed a second piece to slide over it with layer lines 90 degrees to that and it made the whole thing stronger. But to slide one print over another you need pretty close exact dimensions. And this really didn't print out to the exact dimensions I wanted. I was able to make it work but I thought it's a good example to show how you can adjust your 3D prints and get those perfect accurate dimensions. Turns out the slicer will actually focus on the center of the print and then the wall thickness will vary depending on extrusion, the layer height, things like that. So if you really need that exact dimension, there's a setting in Cure where you can adjust the horizontal expansion and dial in exactly the dimension you want. So let me show you how to use that in Cure. Here's the connector piece that I talked about in a previous video and here's the piece that slides over the top of it. And this is what we're going to focus on, this little piece I want to get the right size. Now it slid over tightly so it worked for the video, but the dimensions were still off even though it worked here. What if I want it exact? So here's I designed in a Tinkercad and here's the two pieces, but this connector is 14 millimeters by 24 millimeters by 10 millimeters tall. So that's what I expect it to be and then the inside is really where I'm focusing. But I brought it into Cura and it shows it 24 by 14 by 10. So it recognizes that it's the right size. Now when I actually print it, look at I got 24.2 in one direction and then I'm getting 14.4, 14.3 in the other direction. But in both cases it's larger than the actual print. Now if I go back to Tinkercad and ungroup it, here's the insert that cuts the inside of this thing. And I set it to 10.5 and 20.5. So that's what the inside dimension should be. I use my Magic 0.28 profile in Cura 4.1. That gives me a 0.28 layer height. And then I use a wall line count of three. So three outer shells. When I measure this, look at 20.2 is what the inside is. It should be 20.5. So in this case, it's too small. And 10.5 becomes 10.2. So I'm off. This needs to get bigger, not smaller. So I've got 20.5 and I'm measuring 20.2, so I'm off by 0.3. In both directions, really, if I did the same thing, 10.5 minus 10.2. But let's think this through before we say, let's just you know, make it bigger, because if I made it bigger, both inside and outside would get bigger, but that means the inside would get smaller, and I want the inside to get bigger. So I gotta do the opposite. I've actually got to shrink this, so I need to bring it in at all sides, both side, left and right, and top and bottom. So I want to lose a 0.3, but I need to spread it around. So I want 0.15 here, 0.15 reduction here, 0.15 on the top and bottom. So what I'm going to do is go back to Cura, and there's a setting called horizontal expansion, an initial layer horizontal expansion. I got this set to a negative 0.15. Now if you don't see this, you click on the gear, go up to the search box, just type horizontal, and these two will come up. Check those boxes, hit close, and then it'll be in your cure profile. So I'm using the negative number because I want to shrink this, not a positive number. And after slicing with that and printing it, I'm 20.5 on the inside. When I turn it 90 degrees, it should be 10.5, and then we have 10.5. Now let's check the outer dimensions. When I check the outer dimensions here, I get 24.0, pretty good, and 14.0. So there, I corrected everything. Both the inside and outside were adjusted by that horizontal expansion. And I didn't just do this once, I did multiple prints, and most of them came in right on, or within 0.1 millimeters. So, this horizontal expansion is a very handy feature in Cura. 
With that setting, you should now be able to get those perfect size prints. And check out the toolkit. I'll put a link to it in the description below. If you're not familiar, this is our second generation of the Filament Friday toolkit. This is a caliper I used throughout the video, a much better caliper than was with the original kit. This is a print removal tool. You got three different brushes, stainless steel, brass, and a plastic. We've got side cutters. We've got a file for cleaning off your prints, needle nose pliers, glue stick that I recommend if you're printing on glass. This is a deburring tool or finishing tool. It's great for getting the bottoms off of prints, especially rafts or brims. And this is another improvement. We have a magnet going across these blades so they don't fall out. In the past, they would fall out. Great tool, great exacto tool, and a nice thick cutting board with the Filament Friday logo. Very, very handy. And then you also get instructions for all the tools. You get a Filament Friday sticker. How can you beat that? And 10% off any future purchases. And then you get a much bigger bag. The old bag was a little bit smaller. Bigger bag so everything fits. All for $39.95. Link in the description below.